that pathetic tweet. Before we go, the weekend was not without uh, conflict or acts of violence. There were some journalists who were attacked um, by street protesters. Those pro protesters were also going after the police. They didn't want to be on camera. They're believed to be part of Antifa. What's your take on this? Uh, you know, I didn't see it. I know one thing when I was in Charlottesville. You okay, well, there it is. We're well, seeing well, it. Yeah. There were a lot of different activists who were like, why are you in riot gear? We don't see no riot here. There is a belief, I'm not saying it's always correct, but there is a belief by many activists, including Antifa, that the police tacitly support this kind of violence. Where and does so that belief come? I mean, well, because come on, do you, because, do you think the police, the, the police there were there to protect white nationalists? Do you believe that? When you look at how the police respond to white nationalists as opposed to Black Lives Matter protesters, yes. yes, you do. When you consider the number of police departments where people have been caught with white nationalist tattoos and the emails and everything else like that, that's there. Look, I never like the idea of journalists getting attacked, but no one has a reason to believe, even when you look at how the police responded last year, when you look at the fact that they, they shut down the, the metro in D.C. that let these guys go in, people have reasons to doubt the police's yeah, but, dedication but, to eradicating racism. But thuggishness is thuggishness wherever it comes from politically, and, and we should be the first to call it out. I disagree. <laughs> this is time for us to rise together.